What is going on, everybody? I'm at Intel's IDF, Intel Developer Forum 2010 in San Francisco. And as you can see right there, we're looking at a tablet with a front-facing camera. This is the new WeTab. Uh, it's going to be launched in Germany uh, sometime later this week or next week. But it's on display here now, and it's powered, you can see, by uh, Migo, which is the operating system, mobile operating system that Intel's got a hand in. And it's got some Intel chips inside all that kind of stuff. So we're going to take a look at this is, um, you know, kind of almost, but not totally, but pretty close to shipping hardware as I understand it. So we'll get a little tour around here from a fine gentleman from Intel. All right, all right so we did find out a little bit more about the specs here on the WeTab. Uh, there'll be a few configurations. They are shipping next week uh, to several countries, including the U.S. They're going to start in the mid $500 range, go up to $700 plus for the tricked out version which will have HDMI out, uh, Wi-Fi, and you can see the HDMI port there, Wi-Fi and 3G and 32 gigs of internal storage, uh, GPS chip as well. The low-end model is 16 gigs of storage and then lacks some of the connectivity options. Uh, screen size 11.6 inches. It's 1366 by 768 display, which uh, is actually used to be kind of the high-end for 720p televisions. Uh, obviously, TV is now up to 1080p and so on. But so basically you've got like a 720p display, 1366 66 by 768, and the HDMI out will do uh, HD video. We believe it's up to 720p, not full 1080, but I'll find out for sure. Um, but it feels nice, you know, the 11 inch display, it's big. You're not gonna, you know, it's, it's kind of heavy to use like for one handed use, like an e-reader kind of thing, but um, we'll pop open the e-books app, see what happens there. But, uh, you know, for, for two-handed use, which is the use case that, that folks from WeTab are, are envisioning for most people, you know, you've got like a nice big display. The display looks sharp. Uh, I think we mentioned it will support multi-touch, even though uh, Migo 1.0 does not support it. Migo 1.1 1, 1 will. Um, and uh, so far, it seems pretty responsive. Um, I don't know exactly how it works, so, you know, I can't. But it looks like, you know, uh, decently responsive at least. Obviously not fully production, you know, fully shipping. And the multi-touch not there. But for 720p video playback, you know, could, could be kind of nice. The pricing is kind of high, though, or, or at least it's not low. It's not necessarily high, but it's in the iPad range. It's not, you know, undercutting. So not that it should be, but, um, you know, you're not going to get that, that price advantage necessarily. But very interesting to see the WeTab UI on top of Migo, pretty neat. The multitasking, you know, definitely pretty cool, although with 20 windows open. There you go. So you've got 20 windows open, and you can just kind of pop between them. But, uh, you know, a little roughness around the edges in terms of stuff like this. It'll be interesting to see how the market responds. I think for, you know, kind of an early adopter of the Migo platform, somebody who wants a tablet, you know, doesn't want an iPad, wants something else, and, and the full high-res display, uh, seemingly very cool. Hopefully we'll get our hands on a shipping model to actually rent through its paces, uh, not in the trade show environment. But it's powered by Migo. Uh, you're going to be hearing a lot about Migo in the coming months, you know, coming year or so. You can see it's an OS. They have, uh, you know, they're looking to get it out all over the place. Tablets, embedded devices, connected devices, you know, cell phones, all that kind of thing. But here it is running on a tablet. The WeTab tablet launching next week over in Germany. But we've got one here to play with live at Intel Developers Forum 2010 in San Francisco. Here's a shot of the whole, uh, the whole thing. There's a lot back there. Disco lights, all kinds of stuff. Much, much more on IDF 2010 and all the tablets coming out over on phonog.com. Until next time, I'm Noah. See you later.